Hey guys, and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware. And today I'm taking a look at some PC sales listings on Facebook Marketplace. And the thing about this is there's a lot of gaming PCs, even in a tough market like this one, that are out there on that open market and they are ready for someone to purchase. The problem is a lot of times people will actually uh, either misrepresent their PCs or they just put together a listing that's just not very good. So today we're looking at a few of those listings and why each of these things can be fairly easily mitigated. Some of these common mistakes that are being made in some of these PCs PC listings and then I'm going to show you an example of you know an actually well done PC listing so if you are somebody that's looking to list a computer on Facebook marketplace Craigslist eBay or elsewhere this is the video for you we're gonna look at the big mistakes and then how you can make your PC listing sell very quickly but first a word from today's video sponsor and that is the coldest water they've been a sponsor for a while now and they make fantastic water bottles they come in a variety of colors and sizes and yeah, they keep your water cold all day long. So you can see those links in the description down below. There's a discount code HH10 for 10% off of your entire order. You can also go down there and check out their rolling giveaway where they are just constantly giving away water bottles. So if you're interested in a free water bottle, that link down there is also in the description. And with that, let's talk about these Facebook listings. So the first gaming PC we have up here is listed at $229 down from apparently the original listing price of $250. Says it needs Windows to be installed. Looks like it has a pair of SSDs in this first picture. I don't have a cover for the case, only the front. So it's gonna be an open side panel uh, chassis. But my biggest problem with this listing isn't even the pictures. Actually, the pictures are pretty descriptive compared to some of the ones we're going to see here in a little bit. The big problem is it's just downright inaccurate. And this is probably a small oversight, but it lists the CPU as a Ryzen 6100, which does not exist. So the GPU is a GTX 550 Ti. We can actually see that on the side of the GPU there. Looks like we have a 750 watt Corsair power supply. Actually should be a pretty solid power supply. And like I said, looks like it does have a pair of SSDs. Let's see if we can track down what CPU this actually is. Let's see, let's see, see if there's a close up of that motherboard. Let's zoom in, let's zoom in. Uh -huh we should probably enhance. So here's the thing. That motherboard has DDR3 memory. Uh, I would, I recognize those uh, RAM modules, so I'm, I'm almost 100% almost sure that is DDR3 memory. But what I think I'm looking at here is an AM3 Plus motherboard, which means this is not a Ryzen 6100. This very likely is an FX6100. And there is a massive difference between a Ryzen CPU and its efficiency and effectiveness in modern gaming versus an FX6100. Now, to be fair, the GTX 550 Ti is a limiting factor in gaming right now. That's not a very good gaming GPU for 2021. But the big issue is if you see Ryzen here, maybe you had searched for a Ryzen gaming PC this one might pop up and this is in no way a Ryzen PC. So I think I did actually track down the exact motherboard that's in that PC. Uh, it, it looks about right. I think it's one of these MSI 970A-G46, but regardless, the point is the listing is just wrong. It misrepresents the PC. So if you are listing your PC, the big thing here is make sure you get your specs correct and accurate. Make sure you're not misrepresenting it because you're gonna have a very unhappy buyer if they don't notice it on first uptake, get it home, and then realize you have an FX 6100, not a Ryzen 6100 that doesn't actually exist. At least yet it doesn't exist. I mean, it might exist in the future. Next up is this high-end gaming PC listed for $500, JK, JK, just kidding. It's $3,600, even though they're gaming the system, and this I see all the time, where it's listed at a ridiculously low price, a lot of times like $1 or even free, and then the first thing they say in the listing, or at least one of the first things is, uh, yeah, this is not $500 in this case. The price is actually $3,600, which is, again, a form of misrepresentation, and I assume it's a way 
of getting into the search results for uh, people that are looking for a little bit more of a budget end PC. Now, a couple things I actually do appreciate. They do a fairly good job of giving us the general specs here. We have an RTX 3090. We get the CPU. That's a 10600K. We get 32 gigabytes of RAM. That's good to see. We have the NVMe SSD there. We have the waters of the power supply there. Um, we have pretty good pictures of the actual case itself. Now, unfortunately, they didn't remove the glass side panel here. And that's one thing I definitely would recommend you remove so you can get a better picture of the inside. Now, you can have a picture there of the side panel on it, but also take that side panel off so we can actually see inside of the case. Now, one thing they could have done better is actually listing the exact motherboard that's in this chassis because especially when we're working with overclocking CPUs or CPUs rather that can overclock, the motherboard is a somewhat important factor there. But other than the price misrepresentation, uh, it's not a bad listing. And for that matter, considering the components in it, especially that 3090, it's not the most ridiculous price I've seen out there. So if you're looking for an RTX 3090 system, this could be it. It's just that the, the sort of shadiness there of listing it at $3,600, knocking it down to 500, and then, you know, saying in the listing, it's still actually 3,600. I think actually it looks like they were originally listed at $3,700. Don't do that, just be upfront. This is the price, and if you knock down the price, this is the new price, and that's just the new price, and of course, you're always free to negotiate that with your uh, buyers, but don't do these shady things. It's, it's just not cool. And last, and certainly least, at least in my opinion, is the gaming PC that's actually more of a full setup, or at least close to a full setup, but it's only listed as a gaming PC for $1,750. We start out with the specs, has three eight gigabyte RAMs, and what I imagine they mean is has three sticks of eight gigabytes of RAM a piece, so a total of 24 gigs of RAM, and we are gonna see that in one of their sort of uh, screenshots they have here in a minute. But they have an RTX 2060 graphics card, they have a Blue Yeti microphone, three keyboards for some reason, two mice, two mouses I should say, a Corsair keyboard, a Corsair headset, and can also have the table it's all on. So here is the problem with this listing. We have a picture of the monitors uh, with the keyboard down below. It is a very nice keyboard. It lo looks like uh, it's one of the Corsair K95s, I believe, maybe the K95 Platinum. Uh, we have a screenshot of some of the specs. And here's my issue with this particular screen. That is, you don't get to see the actual GPU in this particular device specs page. You see the CPU, it's a Ryzen 5 3600, which is a very capable gaming CPU. You have 24 gigabytes of RAM installed, that's gotta be DDR4, so good there. Uh, it looks like Windows is uh, listed there, and I assume it's activated, but we don't actually see the GPU. There's no reason to believe that the GPU is actually not what they're saying it is. It's just not listed there, so if you're gonna get the specs, at least take screenshots of a, a part of Windows that actually shows the RTX 2060 there. But the bigger issue I have with this listing is these pictures are just absolutely terrible. And this is what is kind of par for the course on Facebook Marketplace with a lot of these gaming PCs. You do see a side panel off picture, or at least maybe the side panel's on it and it's just you know dark so you can see very easily into it. But regardless, you have a picture of the inside of the chassis. You have some nice RGB fans there though. Uh, not 100% sure that you can actually control them with the way they're currently configured. It depends how they're plugged into the system. Hopefully they are very configurable in software, if not with a remote. You have some mismatched RAM sticks there, that's fine. Cable management doesn't look terrible, but you can't get a great look inside the chassis. And the rest of the pictures don't show what the rest of the setup looks like. It says you can keep the table, for instance, you don't even really get a good look at the table. So here is a free tip. If you're taking pictures of your setup because you're selling it, turn on some lighting so you can see what's going on in the pictures. Yes, you can have some dark pictures so you can get that RGB bling, but at the same time, if you're selling it as a sort of complete setup, present it in the best possible lighting so we can actually see what we're buying. As a buyer, you don't really want to look at something, think you're interested, say, hey, can you get me some better pictures? And uh, they send you something like this, or maybe this is just all they have access to. So if you are selling your PC, get some good pictures. Now, with that being said, let's review just really quickly, you know, have an accurate listing, don't play around with the price, and that is mostly don't misrepresent the price, and make sure you have good pictures. So I do want to point you actually in the direction of um, a website that is run by, uh, to my understanding, YouTubers in the tech space, that'd be the Toasty Bros, and they have 
excellent listings and let's take a look at their website just real quick so pc bros at least it appears to be run by the toasty bros it looks like it's their sort of pc selling business that they run on the side and you know this is a dedicated website but you could post a facebook or an ebay listing or a craigslist uh, listing and use this kind of as your general template so we're just going to pick their mid-range gaming pc and i'm not evaluating their prices or anything like that right now but look they have just a few pictures here, not a ton, but they have a really clear picture with good lighting of the system with the side panel on. And then they do pick a second picture where you have uh, the side panel off and you get a very clear look at the inside. Now, I do wish they had more pictures here. I wish they had one of the backside so you could see exactly what the IO options are, maybe one of the front IO as well. But overall, if you're gonna only have a few pictures, you couldn't do much better than these pictures. And to be frank, the PC looks great. But in addition to this, the price is extremely clear. They have a couple of options that you can add on things to the PC for set prices. And then down below, they have the specs listed out and they're done so in a very, again, very clear way that tells you exactly what you're purchasing and where they can't be specific because apparently this is sort of a system that they may make multiples of. Uh, it says the B460M motherboard depends based on availability. So you know that when you click purchase, you might not get the exact motherboard, but you know exactly what CPU. You're getting an i3-10100F, you're getting a GTX 1660 Super, you're getting uh, black RGB 3200 megahertz DDR4 memory. Uh, hopefully they have that properly configured out of the box. You're getting that NVMe SSD. You know the exact capacity of that from the get-go. You know your power supply from the get-go. Basically, they're just doing everything right here. Like I said, I would add a couple more pictures just to give a better overall view of the PC, but this is a good example of how to structure a uh, listing, whether you're looking at Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, or eBay. And I will link their website here for purchasing different PCs down below in case you wanna take a look at that and use it just as a template in case you're looking to sell your PC this is a good way of doing it. So I have rambled on far too long at this point. In those comments down below though, let us know all about the worst PC listings you've ever seen on Facebook, eBay, Craigslist, or elsewhere. Let us know those thoughts in those comments down below. Otherwise, if you like the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, comment. All those things are very helpful for the channel. You can follow me both on Instagram and on Twitter at Hoosier Hardware. And as always, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos for my channel for you to watch. I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh,